It's very cold and foggy out tonight. All I'm doing is going to the store. That was the SUV that just went by. Oh, failure to signal a lane change 100 feet. SUV, I believe 27 on the quarter panel. Driver, didn't look like he was eyeballing me today for some reason. And, uh, looked like he had a Bluetooth thing on his left ear. Because of the heavy, heavy fog, I can't really see which way he went. It looks like he's in the Winco parking lot. Yeah, it looks like the SUV. Let's see if we can get a description of the driver for the failure to signal a lane change 100 feet charge. Looks like our boy right there with the headlights. Yes it is, he is coming to Olympic. Perfect spot. Hiding behind a giant box thing. He's gonna come from the left. Watch him. No turn signal. Watch him for a hundred feet. Uh, possibly. Yeah, I think that was 100 feet. Red light. funny wouldn't you say a cop breaks the law to pull into a parking lot a parking lot to which he is in and out of in about 60 seconds meaning he had no business in that parking lot that's called trespassing and then because he has gone so quickly and had no business being there in the first place he allows so many criminals to drive right on by as soon as he leaves so, you have all just seen what happens when you leave your cell phone on so the cops can track the GPS. Now I've taken the battery out of the phone, we're going to see what happens when they can't track it. We'll see just how many cops show up now. Possible cop car at Olympic and Mohawk, turning onto Mohawk I believe. And I say possible because I'm a quarter mile away in heavy fog. All I can see is his taillights. White Acura car, I believe he is speeding. Right here's Winco. And that car is heading north on Mohawk. Burgundy color, I believe it's burgundy color, with a white roof, Ford Mustang convertible, 90s model. I believe he was speeding too. Also looked like he just failed to signal a lane change 100 feet. He must be a cop. He definitely just failed to signal a turn 100 feet. So he's definitely a cop. Jaywalking pedestrian about a tenth of a mile outside of a crosswalk. And just a little story I want to lay on everybody. A few years ago, back before I even had a camera, there was a cop owned a red Ford Aerostar van back before they built this new pig station. And I watched him do a lot of the same crimes that I see cops doing while they're on duty. But anyway, this one, apparently he was off duty because he was in his normal vehicle, pulled into the pig station parking lot after breaking the law several times, got out of his vehicle, and I said, you know, that's pretty illegal. I said, what is? And I named off all of his crimes, and he said, why don't you do something about it? Real fucking professional. And you all still wonder why I'm out here doing this? And just so everybody's aware, Officially, we are already past our two-year anniversary. That's right, Cop Stoppers has been cleaning up the streets for the past two years. While the cops have been shitting all over the streets. Two years I've been fighting crime and saving lives, and the majority of the people don't give a fuck. You will one day when there's a cop trying to kill you, you'll be looking for me. 
take pride in your city. What's it been? Three, four months and they still have not fixed this goddamn thing yet? Look at this. Cop car. This is I'm turning away to go home. Stopped at the red light. Tail light's right there. Okay, I'm calling it.